In the past few billion years, Earth has been bombarded by asteroids, crashed into other planets and frozen over several times, and being ruled by all kind of crazy life forms like dinos. Sometimes it's a wonder that our blue planet has survived at all. But if we want to take a tour of our planet's history, we will have to go back at the very beginning, some four and a half billion years ago. Our solar system began to emerge out of a dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust. This cloud collapsed into a swirling disk of matter that's got hotter and hotter and hotter until hydrogen fused into helium. And just like that, our sun was born and a baby Earth was on its way too. After the birth of star, all the matters on the farthest end of spinning disk begins to clump together. These clumps would be the seedlings for the planets and moons in our solar system. As they accumulated more matter, they grew bigger and more spherical. The clumps in the cooler regions of the solar system were mostly made of ice liquids and gases. Closer to the sun, all rocky material formed an inner planets like Mars and Earth. This young Earth was incredibly active volcanically speaking it spewed out gases like hydrogen sulfide, methane and carbon dioxide. These gases made up the very first atmosphere on our planet Earth. Early Earth was constantly bombarded by large asteroids and comets and soon Earth experienced an even more violent collision. Thea, a planet the size of a Mars, slammed right into our young world. This epic collision drew a chunk of matter all around Earth's orbit and then gravity bound them together into what we know now is the moon. On this hot early Earth, there were no oceans. All water existed as gas. About 3.8 billion years ago, our planet cooled enough for water to condense it and became liquid. The very first primitive ocean covered this young Earth and turned into a water world. H2O is an essential ingredient for creating life. So with that all, that water life appeared on the Earth about 3.7 billion years ago. These earliest life form of life were microscopic organisms. But it was nearly a billion years after that some of these organisms changed the course of the world. Earth didn't say as a water world very long soon, the very first continents emerged from the ancient ocean. Scientists call them cretons. As more and more land rose from the ocean, the very first supercontinent appeared on the planet. It was not a supercontinent actually, but it was a pretty small. Scientists think it was smaller than the continent of Australia around 2.4 billion years ago. Cyanobacteria evolved to become our planet's first photosynthesizers. Finally, we had some oxygen producer to make Earth's atmosphere much more hospitable. With all this new oxygen, Earth's atmosphere had much lower levels of carbon dioxide and that made the planet icy cold. Much of our young world froze over as Earth saw its first ice age. Now, as Earth's atmosphere was changing, the continents were moving too. They broke up and resembled into the next supercontinent, Rotinia. Rotinia was a real supercontinent. It may have been the largest supercontinent ever, covered the planet and life. Life finally became more complex, but then something happened. Rodinia broke apart and a new supercontinent assembled. This one was called Panacea. Then between about 
540 to 485 million years ago, there was an explosion of new life. This time was called the Cambrian explosion and the animals that evolved during the period had hard body parts like shells or spines. The most famous of all were the alien looking trilobites. Around 440 million years ago, the climate suddenly shifted and the temperature of the ocean changed dramatically and Earth saw its first mass extension event. This one was the Ordovician Silurian extension and a majority of the life that had been spreading around the planet vanished. Many of these life forms laid the foundation for the ecosystem that we have on Earth today. Somewhere between 420 to 350 million years ago, the first tree rose from the Earth's soil and the first animal made their way to land too. 250 million years ago, the planet was covered our last vast supercontinent, Pangaea. Sadly, it was also during the period that Earth witnessed the greatest mass extinction went in our history, the Great Dine. Huge amount of greenhouse gases and accelerated global warming wiped out about 90% all species on Earth, but the mass extinction helped paved the way for the life wave of animals to evolve. 240 to 230 million years ago, the first dinosaurs appeared for the next 150 million years. They would rule the land. And if you were there, there you would have to witness the gigantic sauropod or gentinosaurus, the largest land animal ever, or you might have been chased by one of the Earth's greatest apex predator, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And uh, you would also witness Pangaea breaking apart and forming the continents we know today. 65 million years ago, an asteroid slammed into our planet, right where the Mexico sits. It sent so much debris into the atmosphere that it blocked out the sun this led to devastating climate changes that caused the dinosaurs to die out. In the next wave of emerging animals, mammals became more common. Around 6 million years ago, the earliest known humans started walking this world. It's called Sahalanthropus. 4 million years ago, early humans began to walk upright. And about 1 million years later, they developed the first known tools which they used to break things. Some 800,000 years ago, things spoke. These early humans discovered how to control fire and could now cook food and provide themselves with heat. Their brains continued to evolve more rapidly than ever. These humans learned to interact with each other and the surrounding world in the whole new ways. Then between 40,000 to 15,000 years ago, all other human species beside Homo sapiens went extinct. 10,000 years ago, Earth saw its earliest farmers. The previously nomadic humans stopped, wandering the planet and finally put down their roots. Jumping way forward to about 250 years ago, the industrial revolution took place. We went through major technical and cultural transformation. Rule based farm societies became more industrialized urban. Once our human population continued to grow by 1804 and we reached 1 billion by 1927, we would hit 2 billion. And since the 1960s, the global population has risen faster and faster to where it is now over 8 billion people. And now there is a new threat to human's existence and many other forms of the life here on Earth. Climate change, temperature and sea levels are rising worldwide and the biodiversity is declining. And now we are very close to the next mass extinction event. It could be sun explosion, a nuclear war or an asteroid hits the Earth. 
But for such amazing videos, you need to check out more videos from Just Imagine.